This video is a demonstration of how it is possible and very useful to connect Tableau to R and subsequently to H2O in order to utilize the best features from each platform. H2O from OX Data is a fast in-memory machine learning platform that can ingest data sets from HDFS or from your local drive and, and create scalable models that can be accessed through H2O's REST API from within R. R in this case will act as a catalyst between Tableau and H2O as it already has open source packages available from OX Data and from the CRAN that will allow R to talk to H2O as well as Tableau and hence connecting the two platforms. Tableau will then connect to R via a local socket server. And lastly, Tableau is great for taking snapshots of data and visualizing scalable predictive models into dynamic worksheets and reports and making information actionable. The first step is to create the connection from within R to Tableau. So you load up the library rserve, then run the command run rserve, now you have a local socket server set up for Tableau. I've loaded up a Tableau airline demo workbook, and the first thing you do is check for the R connection that we've set up. And now it is connected to R. So first, I will run the script to start H2 in R. If you go to R Studio, you will see that the command has ran and will give you back all the information about the cluster that you've started. Next, I will upload the airline all years 2K headers file onto H2O. And you can see from the progress bar here that it finished loading. So the first thing we see is a Tableau data summary page that you create. So the first bar chart you see is a count of the number of flights total in the data set from each point of origin. And the second bar chart you see is the number of cancellation depending on the departure points. And lastly, if you create a ratio of the number of cancellations per total flight for each departure point, you will see certain areas tend to have higher ratios of cancellations. Arlington, Boston, for example. If we go to the next worksheet that I've created, with all the parameters available for modeling on the side here, we can input our response variable, which is cancellation, and our predictor variable, which is the origin of departure. We can adjust things like alpha or the cross-validation end value from within Tableau. And then we simply run, run GLM. And you will see, again, in R Studio that the process runs. Now that you ran GLM, grab the coefficients from GLM. And voila, you have a bar chart of how likely a flight is canceled based on the departure points. So again, you see places like Boston pop up. And just as easily, we can change the particular variable from something like origin to destination, in which case we'll put in destination, rerun GLM, And once again, grab the coefficient. And now you have the likelihood of a flight being canceled based on its destination point. And next, we'll see the same data visualized differently and perhaps more usefully. Um, so if there are flights coming in into Utica, it would seem that it is more likely for the flight to be canceled. Conversely, if there are 
flights coming into Atlantic City, it seems like it won't be as likely to get canceled. We, and we can do things like going back and changing that same value from destination to origin, running the GLM again, and grabbing those same coefficients. Flights from Boston is far more likely to get canceled than any other city in the United States that we have shown. Next, we can do the same for k-means. So again, we have the parameters on the side where you have the k-means model name and the number of centers it will have, as well as the columns you can use to calculate the clusters. And we have selected here all available columns. So all real number columns will be put into the calculation. So we're just going to run k-means. And then grab the k-means model. Cancellation fives or arrival delays. And we can always add more measures and dimensions into the cluster chart. Here you see cancellation, which has either the value of 0 or 1 for having canceled or not canceled, is split into two clusters. So in summary, we got a chance to load the data into Tableau, look at the general information without any predictive analytics, then move on to actually doing models really quickly, running multiple GLMs and k-means, models and bringing the information back into Tableau, visualizing them in a way that is very easy to read. And we don't have to write a script each time we want to run these functions. In fact, you could just simply save this as a template and edit the data connection.